Hi everyone, it's Heather here at Creative Faith Art Studio, and today I'm um, I'm going to do my second entry in my December daily. So I did. I wanted to show you first that I did actually journal in my um, well for December first. So I just added the date, and then I you know journaled a little bit. I didn't do anything with this tag, but um, I did do something with this one. So. All I did was um, I made a list. This actually really helped me. Um, I made a list of the things that I did that day that were, it's not all that interesting because my life really isn't that interesting, but it's what, it's what I did. So I made a list of what I wanted to, what I did. So then when I came back to journal, I would have this available. So, um, and then we, all we did is, we ate chili and I made some spicy bread at the bakery I work at. So I bought some of that and brought it home. We watched a movie that Corey, my husband, had gotten from the library. And then um, we just, you know, I stayed, I had a nice time. We just stayed home and spent the day together when I got home from work. So, um, and then, you know, I kind of talked over here when I had time to journal. And I just added a little bit to that. Because we were plans that I was going to mention to the kids when... You know when I got home from work because it sounded kind of fun but the weather was really terrible so I just and then I said what uh, what we actually did so um, that was what how the way I started it though was with this list and then on the back um, I actually added the recipe for the chili that I made which isn't as much as a recipe as it is the way I made it this time <laughs> so I don't ever make it the same I mean it's pretty similar but I don't measure the seasoning. I just add a bunch and then I taste it and I go, nah, it needs more. And I add a little more. So it's just a guide. That's what we'll call it. Not a recipe, but a guide. Um, so that was the way that that spread turned out. And I love it. Um, and then, so today I'm going to do, this is day two, December 2nd. Um, and so I actually have the things together that I want to put in the page. Um, so I just got a scrap piece, a piece of paper from my scraps and I tore it off. Um, I, the way it started was I was working that day. So I, um, got this ice cream. It's a little local company in Madison, no close by to where we live. And we carry this brand in the store and it's really delicious. It's like made with real cream and it's slow churned. And, um, I bought some, I tasted the it's a brandy old fashioned, but um, they actually it has no brandy in it, so it's just a really strong. Um, you can taste the cherries in it and a little bit of the bitters. It's really delicious. And then um, I bought the lavender lemon flavor to bring home, so I'm really excited to try it. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm I'm going to today actually. But I got they had these little stickers, and I thought how fun I can put that in. And again, I just thought. That's what I did. That's not, again, not that exciting, but it's what happened. And then um, I had this, tore this out of an old Montgomery Ward catalog. It's a reproduction. It, I think they published it in the 70s, but it, it's the catalog. They reprinted the catalog from 18, excuse me, I had the hiccups, from 1895. So um, this is just, this is the 1970 version, and I just tore the tore this little bit out and that's um that's a spoon used for ice cream sodas oh I'm out of cassette camera so see isn't that cute so I'm gonna put this together and I'll do it really quickly I did um get some washi tape I love this one um I don't even I can't even tell you where I go oh, I got it from washi Wednesday and then I got these two I think from paper mart it came in a kit so I just grabbed these they're blue I thought I could use them if I want to but I don't necessarily, I might not need it. So, um, so I hope you all are doing well. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, the weather here, so I'm in Wisconsin. Um, the weather here is finally snowed yesterday, so it's a little, little bit of covering on the ground, it's starting to look really pretty. So that's fun. Um, and I'm lucky enough that I don't have to drive in it, so that's also fun. 
Um, so I'm, I'm, you know, hope everyone's traveling safely as you go through your day. So I'm just going to glue that down. And then I'm going to glue this down. Um, now, has anybody put up their Christmas trees yet? Um, at our house, we have not. I was planning on doing it when my oldest boy was home from college, but um, we ran out of time. He's only here for like three days. And, you know, he had lots of plans, which is expected, so... Um, but, and then the day that I was planning on doing it, I had to work in the morning, I had to bake, so I get there really early. And then um, I ended up working late, and so then um, by the time I made dinner and he and his girlfriend came for dinner, it was just, um, it was too late, and she had to be home at a certain time, so... So there. So, and then I'm going to put the date up in the corner here. So anyway, I was thinking about the Christmas tree. Um, I was thinking that maybe we would do it actually today. Um, I want to make sure that it won't hurt my oldest boy's feelings if we decorate it without him. I think when he was, you know, towards the end of high school, he didn't really, he didn't really care. Not that he didn't care about getting the Christmas tree. That's not what I mean. But he didn't, um, you know, he he was okay with us decorating it when when we were, um, you know, without him. He, he and, you know, he had to work more and, um, so yeah, I think that'll be fine, but I want to ask him anyway. I'm kind of excited to put it up. It's one of my, you know, you get out all your ornaments from when you were little. And I, my mom has saved a lot of them, some that I made and some that she made. She made one every year for each of us kids. I've got five siblings or four siblings, I'm sorry. We're five, five all together. And um, so yeah, so she always made made everybody ornaments and um, and she saved them. So I hear I, when I, when she moved back up in closer to me, um, here she brought this whole big box and I had all these ornaments from when I was little. So that was really, really nice to get. It was such a great gift. It's a lot of memories, you know. So there, that's all I'm going to do today. Um, I plan on, you know, journaling on the doily here. And probably in here some too, um, about the ice cream once I taste it. <laughs> um, but that's all. That's it for today. Um, quick and simple. It's really working for me. So... I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate watching. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.